Okay, to get our Ubuntu machine logging into Windows domain, we're going to need to download a package. So log into terminal and execute sudo apt get space install likewise dash open five. Tap in my password and hit return. OK, yes, I do want to continue, so press Y and enter. And it will get the package and any other dependent packages that it wants and download them. Tab down and select OK. and it will unpack and install those packages. I'll just take a couple of minutes. That's it done. Now to actually join the domain, again I'm going to issue a sudo command and it's domain join dash CLI. space join space then the fqdn of your domain mine's called domainA.com space and then the username that you will be joining the domain as remember a normal domain user can join 10 machines I think it is to a domain tap in the domain admin's password and it'll ask you to reboot Okay, that says rebooting. Over on the Windows side of things, if you have a look on your domain controller, if you log in and open Active Directory Users and Computers or dsa.msc, if you have a look inside the computers container, you'll notice we now have a computer object for the machine I've just added and just to prove that it is if you go to its properties operating systems there you go Ubuntu version 10.10 likewise add identity 5 so back on our client machine what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the config so we can actually log on to the machine from the welcome screen with a Windows domain user account. Now to do that we're going to need to edit a file. So I'm going to use nano as my editor and the file is in slash etc slash samba and it's called lwiauth.conf Tap in me password again. Right, there should be nothing in there. And we're going to add to the top wind bind space use space default space domain space equals yes. Then I'll press control X to exit, then Y to save the changes. Yes, press enter. Now I'm just going to reboot this machine. So, when it's back up again, I can now log on with my domain user account. Now I've created a domain user called domain user just to illustrate. So you'll lo log in using your UPN, that's your, your user principal name in Windows Speak, which is username at domain name. And all being well, when we log in, you can see I'm now logged in as that domain user. One thing you will notice though, 
is you cannot by default execute any sudo commands for example if I try to open nano and type in my password it will complain domain user is not in the sudo as far this incident will be reported marvellous ok to fix that what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Windows group that this user is in to a file so there's my domain user where's member of there we go he's a domain admin and he's a domain user so I could use either group but I'm going to use domain admins I'll log back onto my Ubuntu client Up to a terminal session again, and I'm going to edit the sudoers file which is in etc. Once again, tap in my password and scroll all the way down near the bottom and look for members of the admin group, migraine root privileges, and do the following. And the syntax is percent domain name so it's called domain A remember slash slash then the user group so mine's domain admins so you've got to put an up arrow in the middle you can use domain users if you want space all this is case sensitive equals open brackets all close brackets space all press control x to exit and it should ask you if you want to save wifi yes Enter to save over the top. Let's just jump out of my terminal session there and I'll log off. I'm going to log back on using my domain account. Tap in his password. Now, uh, hopefully, I should now be able to execute a sudo command without it complaining. So we'll try with nano again because that failed last time. Tap me password, and hopefully this time I will get an error message. I don't. It's opened. Thanks very much. Don't forget to visit us at www.petnetlife.com.